let's go and create a Slack channel that we can use for this example. So we're gonna we're gonna call it um, demo. Keep for now do channel details and we can add integration. Go to add an app and here select add incoming web webhook. Go to configuration, you'll be prompted into a new window and we're gonna say add to Slack. Go to channel, we're gonna choose our Slack demo channel, add incoming webhook integration. Great. Now you're gonna have to save this webhook URL and that's what that's what we're gonna use in our NiFi configuration. By now you already know the drill. You have to go to the GitHub repo and download the template that we're gonna use in this tutorial unless you want to do it yourself. So after you download it make sure you go to your NiFi instance and you already upload it into your NiFi server. Drag the template on the canvas, select the send Slack message, drop it on your canvas, and let's evaluate it. If you see out of the box, you will get the webhook URL invalid because when you save it as a template, it will not carry that value with it. Paste the webhook URL that we've created previously. Now, the channel that we're gonna communicate with is gonna be called Slack Demo. Here, create it. Let me just push this to the side so we can see how the messages arrive in real time. We're going to provide it with a webhook text. So if we look here, I am going to make, I'm going to provide it with this text and the link to my new YouTube tutorial I just did previously. So new tutorial uploaded, automate Excel data extraction to MySQL with Apache NiFi. Apply, generate one run. Basically we're gonna, uh, the put Slack requires an upcoming connection. So we're gonna attach it to a generate flow file and then run the put Slack. And you can see it's almost instant we getting the message. So this is a very useful, um, processor that is really easy to configure and really easy for you to hook it into all of your flows. Um, you can have all this information that we see here in the properties as parameters and the uh, webhook text if we're gonna hover over them. Let me just stop this and you'll see. Um, this supports Expression language and parameter context, which is very important. You can make them dynamic as they come. And then you can go and also have this Slack channel, again, dynamic or coming from parameter. The webhook as well is dynamic and coming from parameters. We can also add emojis, URL, and the username. All right, so this is a wrap. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you in the next.